and salutations. It's me, Sal. Welcome back to Chase and Stories. And today, I'm uh, changing this into something. I found this at Walmart in the Halloween decorations. It was, I don't know, five bucks, three bucks, however much they are. I cut the tag off a long time ago. And uh, I'd mentioned somewhere, I don't remember where, but I had this idea about uh, Scareglow from Moto Origins needing a ride. And I figured, well, I didn't want to give him a mouse. And the other option was a spider, but spiders don't have skeletons like that. So, that it is. I figured I can do something with this. I'm not going to do any painting in this episode just because I don't want to give it too much detail because then it won't really match the aesthetics of Moto Origins. It's mostly just going to be additions, like fabricating additions. It's held together in the back with two screws and the head has three screws. There's also two screws holding the arms on. So I'm going to take those off and I'll start doing some stuff. All right, so got it taken apart. The skull has three screws that hold it together. And there's a fourth screw in the bottom of the skull that connects it to the neck and body. Two screws hold the rib cage together. And there's two screws that hold the wings in place. Now, the idea I have is to kind of do some minimalist kind of stuff. Um, it's going to give him a place to put his arms and legs when he rides the bat, the plan is I'm going to use these paper clips and some of these fake suede strap kind of deals. So I'm basically going to mold the paper clips the way I want them and then do a layer of this kind of suede stuff around the metal and just kind of super glue it together around that. I got two things of super glue, got Gorilla Glue and Loctite just because there might be some left in here and I want to try and use it up. I've already opened this one, obviously, but I'm not going to try and use this up. No other reason beyond that. Now, the other thing is kind of loosely reassembling this. Uh, the jaw is articulated, and I was trying to come up with a name for this thing, kind of let the name dictate what I was going to do. And I was like, well, I'm trying to come up with a name because I was like, well, there's Scare Glow, and some of the names are kind of punny or based on what they do. And I was like, well, you know, bats use sonar. So I was like, let me see if I can find like maybe a cannon or something I could put in the mouth so it opens and, you know, he shoots sound out of his mouth, so sonar. And I was trying to come up with a name, like sonar, and that's, you know, not too bad. And I was like, well, they're kind of punny sometimes, so he's a skeleton, they're like sconar, no, that doesn't make any sense. And then I was like, oh, bone, so bonar, that makes sense. And then I saw it written down, and I was like, yep, definitely not going with that one. So sonar it is. So that's kind of the plan. I have a bag of random uh, vintage Motu accessories I might cut the tip of tip off of a cannon and just kind of like glue it in there so you know he has a cannon in his mouth or something and that's pretty much it you know not not too much really so i'm gonna go ahead and see what i can do with uh these paper clips
of something to an, originally I intended to take one of Webstore's guns because I had an extra one I was going to cut the tip off and put it in there but as you saw I used some Final Faction stuff instead because you know the whole name Sonar I'm like well he needs a gimmick he needs something to to shoot so you know that's why the blast comes out of his mouth instead of having like shorter mounted cannons or something. I really got to thinking about it and I was like well he needs some way to fly he's made out of bones so because he doesn't have any webbing give lift so that's where the little propellers came from again from Final Faction you know you can find those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so not not sweating it too hard. Uh, you saw me construct the uh, the handlebars they go in the back with that paper clip and some felt I opted to not cover all that up right there since you're not going to see that side anyway. That's what those are, little handlebars to hold on to. And originally I was going to use a, another paper clip to kind of make stirrups to cradle the feet. And I figured, you know what, I can just do that with some felt loops and call that a day. You know, and when they're not in use, they reach down to the bottom of the feet and they hook on there. And you know, these just look neat, I guess. I don't know. I could have put like paper on the back side of it, but I think it looks fine the way that it is. And I know I said I wasn't going to do any detailing, but I couldn't help myself and took a marker to it and it doesn't look great but it doesn't look bad either I mean you can tell it's done with a marker and kind of was done quickly but that's just a step you don't have to do if you decide to do this and there's Scare Glow riding it and just to kind of show off how well that it works you can see that the his feet are entirely off of the other feet and I'm leaning him back and he's still holding on pretty well in order to get that to stay in place I showed you the two screws that go to the back so this is looped under the first screw so it won't like move around too much while well, these are looped over the bottom screw kind of uses his own weight to stay in place for the most part you can see he's a little bit taller than Scareglow but not by much next to Hordak right man Tim there he's next to Panthor and that's really all I got for today um, got him set up here uh, Scareglow is the one that's attached to the flight stand and Scareglow between his feet and I had to turn the hand around, but he's holding up sonar on his own. So that kind of lets you know, like, he's pretty light. I mean, clear is going to take up a lot of real estate if you put him on the shelf. But, you know, I just thought it was fun. And relatively cheap. Everything here I got from Walmart or Dollar Tree. So these little uh, kind of fake suede rope things were in the craft section. I don't remember how much they cost because I bought uh, two sets of them years ago for costuming and just had some left over. The, the cannon, which is you can't see in the mouth, but you've seen in the video, and the uh, propellers, thrusters, whatever, Dollar Tree for a dollar each for the accessories, and then the bat himself was a Halloween decoration from Walmart. Pretty straightforward, easy to do. Some super glue and some Molotov chrome pens and the like, and I did some sanding to get the, the weapon to fit, so little involved, but nothing that I don't think you can't handle. Uh, that's my take on what it would look like if Scareglow had a mount and sonar. So it'd be like sonar, uh, Scareglow's flying terror, or something like that, or I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think down below about the idea. Uh, if it's something you're willing to try, or maybe you're gonna go try it, anything like that, or you know, maybe you would have picked something else. In hindsight, probably a mouse would have been easier because it's seated. I don't have to worry about it in a flight pose or anything. But anyway. If you like what you saw today and you're new to the channel, then all that asks is you click like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to help me out, and I very much appreciate it when you do. And I do thank you all for stopping by and spending some time with me today. So, until next time, I'm Salty, signing off.